Hi, this is Steve from Nebraska Star Beef, and today we're going to talk about grading beef. And specifically, we're going to talk about the USDA grading system because that is the most commonly found grading system here in the States. There are some other systems out there, and uh, you know, Wagyu is graded on its own scale, for example, and certain you know, smaller programs can have their own scale. But the focus of this video is going to be on specifically the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the USDA's quality and yield grade scales. Let's go. The grading process takes place after the cattle have been harvested and put on the hanger. And typically they'll hang for a number of hours, could be up to over a weekend, uh, to get cooled off so the carcasses are cooled down. And then prior to the USDA coming into grade, someone from the packing house will go in and split one side of the carcass at the 12th rib. What this does is exposes a cross section of the ribeye, which allows the USDA grader to see the marbling that's present, the yield grade, which is the amount of peripheral fat around the outside of the rib cage or the margin fat. Um, and based on the amount of marbling that, and, and for a quality grade and the amount of peripheral fat for yield grade, the USDA inspector will determine what grade that carcass is. So in beef, there are a number of different grading scales. Uh, Wagyu has its own scale. Certain different programs have their own scale. Here at Nebraska Star Beef, the scale that we focus on is the USDA scale, and that is the vast majority of beef producers are going to use the USDA scale. And it's the standard in the United States for beef production. The USDA scale is comprised of eight grades. Approximately 97% of all cattle harvested fall into the first three or the top three grades, which are prime, choice, and select. The remaining two and a half to three percent of beef harvested fall into the lower five grades, which are standard, commercial, uh, utility, cutter, and canner. And those, the, the, the lower grades are typically cattle that have been herd animals, you know, bulls and cows, uh, dairy cattle, you know, that'll, that'll, that beef will end up being um, you know, more budget priced beef. It may be an in-house store brand that's blended with some other ground beef to create a, a, a product that's aimed more at a price point. Um, the vast majority of beef that's harvested falls into the prime choice and select categories. Within those categories, about 75% of beef is choice, usually around 10% is USDA Prime, and around 12 to 13 percent comes in at USDA Select. As far as the USDA grading scale goes, USDA Prime and the beef that falls into the USDA Prime category is considered the highest quality beef that beef is going to have the most marbling or intramuscular fat and it can the yield grade can range from one to five on usda prime so it can have a lot of fat around the outside or not very much fat around the outside the prime grade specifically deals with the amount of marbling that's in that cross section of ribeye at the 12th rib now prime being the best it's also the least amount of beef produced. So there's typically less than 10% of all cattle graded will end up prime. And based on the numbers that we've seen, it's not uncommon for prime to run as low as 5% uh, based on the, the cattle that are being harvested and graded. So there's not a whole lot of prime beef created. 
and that's why Prime is, is, is as expensive as it is. There's just not that much of it in the grand scheme. Choice is really the grade that carries the market. And the range on choice is fairly broad. Um, grading is somewhat subjective. And you know, that's the, the USDA graders put a lot of time in studying carcasses and they look at a lot of carcasses and they spend a lot of time on it in school to understand what the different grades are and where, and where they fall in. Um, choice can range from you know, the bottom end of prime to the top end of select. So there's a pretty good range there. And choice is 75, approximately 75% of all the beef graded in the United States is USDA choice. The beef that you find in the better retailers is typically gonna be choice. A lot of the restaurants will buy up the prime beef. They're buying a lot of choice as well. But when you see a really nice steak, odds are it's USDA choice simply because there's the most of that produced. Select is still really good beef, but it's typically really lean beef. Uh, a lot of the grass-fed beef is most likely gonna fall into that select grade. Uh, it, can, it can end up choice. I'm, I'm sure there have probably been grass-fed prime animals. Typically though, they're gonna end up more in the direction of select. Select is gonna be the leanest of the three grades. It's still really good beef by anyone's standard. It just doesn't have the marbling that Choice and Prime do. When we harvest cattle and the USDA grades them, we follow the national average pretty close. If we take in two, in fact, the, the last two pot loads of cattle that we harvested and graded uh, were almost perfectly lined up with the USDA standard. We'll typically have less select animals because we have a, a unique corn finish that really helps the animals to marble well. We steam flake our corn, um, which really helps with their uptake and helps to, that it helps us push the scale. Now, as far as what we sell and package, we're an upper two thirds choice and prime. So we're upper choice and prime only when, when you buy a product from us. Typically we keep our prime cuts separate and then sell them as a prime graded steak. Um, briskets, for example, they're, they're all gonna be sold as briskets. So we don't separate the prime from the choice. Our choice beef, if, if we get anything that's close to the select side, we'll typically move that elsewhere. We do not sell any USDA select beef. And, and again, the upper two thirds choice is somewhat subjective, but if we get an animal that grades choice, but looks select, it's gonna go out with the select to a secondary market. Uh, we sell the best beef that we are able to produce, and we are very serious about that. All right, that's all we've got on grading. Um, if you made it this far, you're awesome. I could not listen to me for that long. Uh, if, you, if you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button. If you don't mind subscribing, we'd love to have you on the list. And uh, we'd, always, we'd, we'd enjoy seeing some comments on the videos, questions, ideas for other content. Please don't hesitate to let us know what you like, what we could do better. Uh, we're definitely paying attention. And we'll see you again next week. Hope you have a great week. Eat a steak.